Cats here in downtown Toronto with actress Jane Wilson, who plays Janine Wilson in Janine from Des Moines. Hi. Hi. How does it feel to be here at the, International, the Toronto International Film Festival? Well, it's really exciting. Um, it's, you know, kind of seems like a dream sometimes because we were shooting this film on a very low budget, just sort of running in, around trying to get it done, very low budget, you know, and now here it's just like, oh, it's a beautiful city, a nice hotel, <laughs> eating out, you know, it's just kind of enjoyable to, to, to be here and see the, how the audiences are responding to it and meet other filmmakers and see their films. And it's, it's just exciting. What was the best part about playing this character? Um, well, I'm, I, I, I always describe myself as being kind of an acting nerd. I'm one of those people that I do like to build a character from the ground up and, you know, work on the way they look, the way they talk, the way they walk, you know, and she was a very interesting character to play. And, you know, as, as much as she's very different from me on the political spectrum, I'm a, kind of a progressive person. I'm playing somebody who's a little more conservative. Um, I feel like I grew up with women like Janine, and I know women like Janine, and I wanted to be respectful to them. And so it was... Uh, it was, it was a fun journey, a fun, sad journey, because she goes through some very, some, some really t trying times in this film. So. When you started developing this film with Grace Lee, is the end result now what you expected it to be, or is it something very different than you first maybe thought? There's a lot of things that happened that we were hoping would happen in the film, and then there were some, you know, incredible surprises that came up along the way, and we had to be very fluid with this film because you know, when we started it in spring of uh, 2011, uh, we didn't know where the political climate was going to go, so she had to be sort of interested in everybody, all the candidates, and be just excited about her feelings about her, her uh, conservative viewpoints, um, what she wanted from a candidate, and then as the year rolled along and more, there was an attrition rate, they dropped out, some she ended up liking better than others, some, you know, and she got surprised in the end because she started out very much thinking Mitt Romney was not her cup of tea, but at the, at the, uh, as things went along, he came more and more into her purview. So it was, uh, it was, it is interesting just to, 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 to have to be fluid like that and, and have our storyline go with the way history was going, you yeah. know. What's at the heart of the story for you? Um, I guess more than anything, when we started working on this, we wanted to start a dialogue about the political climate in America right now, and we're a very polarized country, you know, and people sort of stay in their little camps, and I can be like that. I'm not saying, like, pointing a finger and saying, you know, everybody's so intractable, and I'm the one who's fluid. I'm saying, like, sometimes I find myself standing in an echo chamber of other progressive people, and it was interesting to move amongst conservative Republicans in the state I grew up in. I grew up in Iowa, so I was kind of a homecoming in a way, but I had to be undercover. I was like, <laughs> with, you know, a different look than if anybody ran into me that knew me. They, made, they I ran into several people, actually, I went to high school with, and nobody seemed to recognize me, so it was kind of, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of an odyssey, let's face it, but, um, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm somebody who I like to think that I'm, uh, I'm open and I'm interested all the time in, in everybody's point of view. So it was, it, was a great, it was a great experience. A crazy experience, but a great experience. What was a typical day like for you? I'm sure they varied greatly, but in general, I mean, how did you kind of prep in the morning with the character and then go out? Well, um, like I'll give you a good example. When we were towards the end of our filming, the last thing that remote that we filmed in, in, in Iowa was the, a lot of stuff to do with the caucuses. We had to cover a lot of territory very quickly. So the, this one day we woke up at I think six in the morning and we caught Mitt Romney around 7.30 outside of a Hy-Vee grocery store. And then we went up two hours north to early Iowa and we caught Michelle Bachman. And then we traveled you know, down and around and across and we caught Ms. Centaurum at Hot Wings Place at Ames. And then we stopped first, I mean, we just kept moving. And then as the sun was setting, we met up with Newt Gingrich in Creston, Iowa, which is a totally other area of the state, and we ended up coming home like I think around 10:30 at night. So that was like a typical shooting day, and I have to, you know, I get a break when we're traveling, but otherwise I'm in character all day long. So it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to describe it. Any actor who's watching this is like, oh, I see, you just stayed in character for 12 hours, you know. 
13 hours or whatever, except when we were traveling. It was, it was crazy. And what are your hopes for the film for in the future? Um, I hope as many people as possible see this film. And, you know, whether they see it in the movie theater through our distribution that way, or downloading it, or purchasing the DVD. I mean, any way that people can see it and engage with it. And, you know, like I said before, start a dialogue. And that's basically what we want to do. And where's the best place to find out more information on Janine from Des Moines online? Uh, I would say go to www.janinefromdemoine.com or janinemovie.com um, and uh, or you can even check out the TIP website because they have a wonderful thing about the movie as well. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank Congratulations you. and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto.